All right, welcome back. And uh, we, the show is interactive. We do want to hear from you. Breakfast Daily is the hashtag. And the WhatsApp line is 0550 And uh, Now, lots of conversations um, happening. Uh, we are at the point where uh, there are various um, uh, happenings in the political party offices with the MPP. They're sharing forms. People are, mm. you know, uh, there's all kinds of mayhem and chaos uh, developing and all that. And, uh, you know, there's this thing that has been going on also in Parliament about Adjoa Safo mm -hmm. and her a lack of presence mm -hmm. in Parliament. Yeah. I mean, this morning, there's a um, headline about her being a, a, a TikTok, TikTok MP, yeah. and dancing on, and on TikTok, but yet she doesn't show up for Parliament. Yeah. I don't know what you make of all of this. Well, um, I think that, you know, so, I mean, it's, it's important for us to put in perspective mm. that she has permission mm. to stay away you know mm. the president granted a permission to mm. stay away mm. you know the mm. leave of absence from the ministry of mm. gender okay so that she has that permission but parliament is a different story altogether yeah. and don't forget that she's been away for i think about six months mm -hmm. you know yeah. and um, in parliament you know when you're absent for 16 sittings yeah um it calls for you being dragged before the privileges committee exactly. further explanation mm. is needed and all that mm. so this is where we are. Mm. Where is Adrasa for? Yeah. You know, what mm. is going on? You know, because now is it about um, her being a mother, so mm. she needs to stay away for that long? Is it on health issues? You know, mm. or is it just, you know, don't forget that there are also um, reports of she demanding to be made deputy majority leader. We've, we've heard that. Could it be that? We've heard that? So could it be that she's kind of holding the whole party to ransom? Especially mm. at this time, you know, of the eight parliament where every single member needs to be on every seat is valuable absolutely yeah. you know so um if we have to pass e levy what would her absence mm. mean to the npp side mm. you know mm. and um, it's quite interesting that you don't really mm. get mm. Uh, the mm. ndc saying much about this because it kind of works for yeah. them you know but my um, um city news is hansen ajuman has visited her community you know that's a dom kwabenya constituency and filed a report. Let's take a look at it. NPP supporters were racing against time to file their nomination for various positions for the upcoming elections in the constituency at the time of our visit, though the process was much peaceful as compared to happenings in other constituencies. Some were concerned over the absence of the Member of Parliament, the three-time legislator, a minister of gender has been off duty for at least six months. Though the presidency granted a permission for an extension of her leave in October 2021, concerns have become rife following the difficulty of the majority in parliament to marshal its numbers to pass the E-11. Of course, Once if you don't come returning. to parliament and you're on TikTok dancing, excuse me. What's the exact law no, no, surrounding absences? It's not for... Uh, Apostle Kwa Josephu, get it straight. And I'm very furious because people are insulting me because I went there to campaign for him, uh, for her. Her absence seems to be of concern for her constituents as well in Dome Kwabenya. Not only have they not cited her in parliament, but her presence, they say, is not being felt in the constituency. Now, wh wh what to say on co parliament? What to be? Ah, my team, it was ready, no show. So on co parliament, was she on co? But I can make one MP. MP dead in a human on the set, so on co parliament. Neither obey Yanua, Yanni, yes, you, your crop for a year dinner, you know, you would the air cosu. But also on co parliament today. But where is Ajoa Safo? Her personal assistant, Nana Dubin, provides some insights. Where's your boss? Um... As we speak now, um, she's out of the jurisdiction and should be in town um, in the next few days. 
what, what has been happening with the honourable? Oh, nothing. I, I believe that um, sometime last year, uh, we're all aware she sought a leave of absence uh, from the president or from the presidency uh, to deal with a few personal issues. Um, along the line, sometime in December, she had to come to town uh, yeah, to support um, government business on the floor of parliament. And uh, she was here and then left uh, sometime at the end of uh, December. Is it that she doesn't care about the duty uh, reposed on her? No, she really cares about it because um, even in her absence, there's a lot going on. The cry of her colleagues in parliament is their inability to push government business without her due to the peculiar nature of the eighth parliament. But to what extent is her absence affecting her constituents? We're currently at the Domi Market, one of the popular places in the Domi Kwabenya constituency and uh, one of the major challenges of the uh, traders who apply their trade here is issues with flood and most of them have been calling on their MP to liaise with the assembly to, their, to address their problem. But what has become of this plea as it is emerging that uh, the uh, MP for the area, Ajosa for has not been going to Parliament for a long time. In short, to hand in my poto, yeah, yeti hand up crop on a short to a buyer patam. Let me know money, a peja to a book up on a Maya Wahanam. In shining my and let me peja me number two benches you. Wow, and then my heart man said you because of send and show him right, you know, man to me and said you. Then short to a hard and your cry. Nigeria <laughs> Poor roads have been categorized as a major problem of the constituency, from Taifa, where a large portion of their main roads have been fixed, to Abukobi, where residents claim they fall under the bracket of bad roads in the country. There's a unanimous belief they would have been better off, but for the current situation of their member of parliament. Oh no, cray! I had them say a book will be around there. I say you who she cry or ne jume mu he put to be anko. Yango eni na ba wa be da da ya. Nanse amafu a huwa den ube wene si ekumu biya be tu amafu a huwa den ondi ama street lights ba ku ba ku biya ya ya deni ne mu. The party at the constituency and the personal assistant to adjust her for Harva think otherwise. So we have been managing everything in this constituency. So although. We expected that um, her absence would affect the constituency. So if it comes to development, we have taken steps in going to the various ministries as constituency executives so that whatever developmental needs we expect to reach the Miku Abenya are being taken care of. Despite these assurances, there are calls for her removal. Research by Global Info Analytics indicates that 44% of constituents want her to be removed while 47 percent are against that. When City News questioned the constituents, they were divided on the matter. For those who are staunch supporters, they will boycott any polls that seek to force her out. Omo <laughs> Men <laughs> 
Utu ya wea wo sa wonya wo yale a ento betumi afa machine ya kuta wo yale a betumi afa ekuta enti so omo omo pre no mu yina no mu de obi fufo na na wo de opese ya yinu ahu da bi mi ena mi bi sa se se bia e ba se mo nto e bia ba se mo nto aba bi o no na ba gi atum se bia o ma bi mu de a na o no ankasa ye ma me ne ka no no apa obi a wo be se na na e wo do me kwa benya ha ma ye what ya se ento sa de ene e for the party at the constituency, it is only the national officers who have a say on what to do with the MP. But all these may not be necessary, as her personal assistant assured that she'll be in the country by close of week. Um, Honorable Sarah Joasavo hasn't indicated to anybody that um, she is not up to task as far as her duties and responsibilities as member of parliament is concerned. The issues about triggering some clause in parliament for her removal, I think um, it's not something we should speak to. But if indeed it comes up and then there's the need to make some comments on them, on that, I'm sure I will make it. But until, until then, it's not something that uh, we are envisaging is going to happen. But then again, she will be around in the well, next two days. And then everything, I'm sure, uh, yeah, should be fine. All right. So there you have it, a report by our colleague Hansen Edgerman. And um, we've been joined in studio by the host of Footprints, Samuel Atamesa. Good morning, Samuel. Good morning. Atamesa. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, um, the, the fans of Man City and Liverpool are complaining. Yeah. about the big mug? The big mug, yeah. This, 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 that's nothing that they have come to put here. I mean, if, we do, we if, if, if for anything at no, all, no, you, you we, have no. a cup that can, ah, we don't understand. Like, that can let you take coffee, you know. Does this have a cup? We don't understand. Does have a cup? Anyway, that you can drink from. Anyway, it's all anyway, right. We are not complaining. You, you can, okay, yeah, you can I mean, have you this. Have Who will take the cup? You, you can know, have this. You can 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 Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One thing that you can do to suppress your enemy <laughs> is to enjoy life. <laughs> you know, enjoy while they yeah, plot. Well, yeah. <laughs> so you go ahead. You, okay, okay, no problem. <laughs> anyway. You're welcome. It's good yeah. to have you here. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, I'm welcome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can prepare with your own welcome package, know, right? you know. No, it's it's allowed. But on a more serious mm. note, you mm. know, something that we are thinking about as Ghanaians, you know, yeah. we are very worried about what is going on. Samez, where is Adras Afo? I just have to be I didn't see this question coming. Uh, well, yeah. no, we are concerned. <laughs> no, I don't know. I, I have no clue where she is. I don't know where she is. You know, I, I don't know. There, there's some guy who claims he's a personal assistant or something like that. Nana, Nana, uh, yeah, what, what was his name? Nana. Yeah, he, he says something. he's the personal assistant yeah. and he's telling Ghana where that she's, a, you know, something. I, but I don't even get it. what he said, no, mm. at some point he says, oh, so in the coming weeks we are, we are expecting yeah, her to be in town. Days, yeah. And then before mm. he went, he said, oh, in the next two days. Yes. So I'm still yes. trying to marry yes. the two. Is yes. it in the coming weeks? Or is it days, days? You yeah. know, because now, I mean, there's a, uh, I mean, a national security issue. You know, we need to know. <laughs> I, know. I mean, I think she will, she will come. She will come. But I don't know. Okay. I guess we all don't understand what's going on, really, in the, in, this, in the sense that there are rules in Parliament, though. You are not allowed to absent yourself from beyond a certain point in time, a certain length of time, you know. But this one seems to have gone, you know, over and over, long, lo much longer than they are normally permitted to. <laughs> and then we are I'm here. Like, I, <laughs> I'm here as a guest, so... <laughs> no, just I share your thoughts. Bust your bubble, but, <laughs> but my point is that where, where is the story? Mm. There's no story in this. But this there is the, are rules yes. on how people mm. should conduct themselves. Mm. Mm. If the person has gone against the rule, just let the rules apply. Yeah. It's as simple as that. Mm. I mean, the discussions won't change anything. 
Okay. If she's gone against what does what, what are the rules say? Mm. Let's just get back to the rules, rules. and apply the rules. Yeah. It's just as simple as that. Yeah. You know what the majority is doing? It's like somebody carrying a lantern in broad daylight, looking for himself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, when you put it like that. <laughs> You carry a lantern in the afternoon. Yes. Going around looking, looking for, for yourself. yourself. That means the situation is it's dire. A, it's a problem. I mean, you, you, you know what to do. Yeah. So just do it. Mm, mm, mm. Just do it. Yeah. No discussion. The public will have no input in this yeah. matter. Yeah. Because we are not parliamentarians. No. We are not party members. Mm. So take your decisions. Because, you see, the only thing we don't have as a resource is time. We don't yeah. have time. Yeah. So take the decisions that you have to take. Yeah. And forget about the, 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 all these consequences. If we do this, this will happen. Just do it. If you have to let her go, let her go. Yeah. If you don't want her to go, tell her to come. Yeah. I don't know where we are. with it's a put, put it, Holding everything to ransom. Yeah. And it's not healthy for the country. Mm. But if you have to pass e-levy, you know, at this point, government is pushing for e-levy, you know, um, in, in the House, we have to vote on e-levy. And the yeah, numbers but, will affect... But remember, a lot of things would be required to go on before even the voting. Yeah. So it's not, we, won't, we, we don't have to limit it to just the, voting. the day of mm. voting. Because <clears throat> so much will happen. Mm. Consultations here, lobbying mm. here, and all these things. And if what we hear that she wants to be deputy majority, uh, majority yeah. that is yeah. true, then you expect that somebody who believes that she can occupy the position of a majority leader would would have found herself mm. right in, in the midst of affairs. Yes, yes. Okay. The the majority leader or for that matter, positions in parliament are not trophies. Mm. That when you, you they see that you are around for a while, then they just hand it out to you. It yeah. doesn't happen that way. No. You know, and you know, look, I, I'm just saying that if, mm. if it's not working, mm. they should take a decision. Mm. And what, yeah, please quickly, go on. Yeah. Quickly. Yeah, yeah. But what does that mean to um, her constituents? You know, because now there's some It doesn't mean anything. But she, they need a representation because yeah, when what, they look so, at... So they do a by-election. No, it, so that's listen, where we it are. It doesn't mean anything. The Domi Kwabenya constituency was not created for Ajwa Safu. Mm. So tomorrow, if Ajwa Safu chooses to resign, mm. what would that mean to the constituency? Yeah. They will still have to live their lives. So I'm just saying that, yes, nobody bargained for this. Mm. Nobody saw it coming. Maybe a few people may have seen it coming in different ways. But what we are saying is that if it's come to this point, majority will have to take a quick decision. Mm. The party would have to push the majority to take the decision. Because, you know, in times past, we used to refer to Dome Kwabenya as the stronghold of oh, MPP. MPP. Yeah. yeah. I'm not so sure whether we can boldly say that mm. now. Mm -mm. I doubt. Because of the new <coughs> nature of the constituency. Yes. Mm. Now, if you look at Hansen's report, most of the people in the um, um, the other side, the, the Abokobi Abu 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 area, yeah. 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 were saying yeah. that they don't even know her. Yeah. You understand? Mm. They don't say they don't even know her. So, so it, I think it's interesting just to look at the different electoral areas there. We have Abokobi, we have Abloje, we have uh, Agbogba, Hacho, Atomic, Kwabenya, Domi East, Domi West, Taifa North, Taifa South. I think mm. we are clear traditional areas that will be leaning towards MPP. But a lot of the areas like, like Abokobi, for example, also lean the other way. You know, well, I, I don't know. I don't have the figures, but I, I can, in, in terms of ethnic makeup, mm. I, I, I know for a fact that you have more indigents in the Abokobi area, except for the Presbyterian enclave there. Um, Hacho is a good mix, mm. um, you know, uh, some part of uh, Kwabenya mm. as well, um, a good mix. So basically, it's not just about core MPP support. Okay. It's about how people interpret the reality on the ground. Okay. Okay. Are we MPP supporters or we are supporters of Ajwa Safu? Okay. And that's the first question. Okay. 
And I don't think Ajua Safu created the MPP there. No, no it's not no. the case. No. So the party must manage the situation mm. because there is coming very soon mm. a national election. Yeah. So if you have a candidate <clears throat> who is managing affairs in this manner, mm. what then will be your own prospects for 2024 election? Yeah. So that's why I said time is not on our side. Mm. Wow. Hmm. But 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 let me find out from you what do you make of how she is going about things. You know, so well, just I, that you see, we don't know how she's going about things because we've only seen a video, uh -huh. and nobody even knows when that video was taken. Yeah. Okay. So I'm I'm even looking at, I'm even looking at you know. So we know that um, for whatever conversation that went on earlier, the president gave her that permission to stay away from the ministry. Again, let me yeah. come in. We don't even know the full discourse that took place. Mm. We know in parts. Yeah. We have only heard bits. Mm. So you see, when it comes to these things, people throw all sorts of things around. Yeah. We don't know the full story. Mm -hmm. I can say boldly that we don't know the full story. Mm. Yeah. There may be other things that may have happened that the, is not known to the public. Yeah. I'm just saying there may be. Uh -huh. But be that as may, what I'm saying is that no matter what has happened, they should treat this with a certain sense of urgency. Yeah. Uh -huh. You understand? Agreed. Because you don't have time. Mm. I mean, the candidate was up against Michael Quaid Jr. Yeah. Yes. Okay. In certain jurisdictions, it would have been, okay, why don't we organize and see and put Michael Quaid Jr. there? I don't know how the MPP constitution mm. works. Mm. But just so that you can get going with work. Yeah. Okay, because mm. Michael Quay is a government appointee, yes. it's part of government, <clears throat> so it makes it easier. Yeah, but if you are going to spend another three months battling back and forth, by the time you 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 finish mm. this battle, there will be a lot wounded. Yeah, and if they are wounded, it's going to affect mm. your prospects in 2024 mm. but the constituency executives say they are holding brief you know in her absence they are doing what they have to do so she but, be but she but not being not around is them not to, you are not expecting <laughs> the secretary to come throwing tantrums yeah. all over the place no they don't do that in party politics. Is doing that well because he doesn't belong to the constituency but he is a key figure in npp and yeah, but, i mean but she he was he was in the, in the constituency. constituency to campaign so but he wasn't the only person who campaigned i mean he that's his claim yeah. He wasn't the only person who campaigned. The constituency executives also campaigned. Mm -hmm. In fact, they did more. Yeah. Okay. I mean, if Kennedy Upon says he, he supported, that's fine. But he doesn't determine the course of how things will happen in that constituency. Mm -hmm. It doesn't happen that Probably way. Probably he's looking at the bigger picture of what this will mean to, for the, rest of for the, the, for, to the party, you know. And you've rightly mentioned that there's no time. <coughs> the and, the um, elections will soon be held. And so uh -huh. he is looking at a bigger picture that what you are doing is going to cost us i mean in the long run you know yeah but that's what we have yeah. said that if it continues this way yeah it will cost the party mm -hmm. i mean if they don't lose they will, it will still affect them some way somehow that's what we are saying mm -hmm. you know yeah because somebody was uh, somewhere i don't know whether on tv what if she chooses to go um independent if they should he should be removed she should be removed from the party mm. for instance mm -hmm. I mean, the moment she chooses to go independent, yeah. MPP has lost the seat. Yeah. Case closed. Hmm. That's not to say she will yeah. win. Yeah. I, I doubt if she will win. Mm. Yeah. But splitting, splitting the vote, splitting the vote yeah. straight away, somebody is, is yeah. won. But so, as a stance, I don't think it looks very cool for NPP. You know, with all over, the conversations going there, on. No, know, they, yeah. they, they, and, don't, and, they don't just happen that way. No, so if, if you look event, at the research... <laughs> forget about you know, the research. Oh. Forget about the, this kind of research. Well, you don't research. believe in this but research? Opinion I don't polls, know. Right? Uh, you don't be long, believe in this? are seasonal in nature. Uh -huh. Okay. They are okay. seasonal in nature. Okay. And this opinion poll, the responses are captured within the space of emotions. Okay. Nothing academic about it. Okay. You give them time. Let mm. somebody go and give them rights and go, go back and, and ask them the, the same, same questions. But okay. that's how we vote in this country, no, with emotions. Why, that's so, what I'm saying. Yeah. It's early days yet. Uh -huh. That's all I'm saying. Okay. That's, yes, today somebody mm. has said so and so. Yeah. Because the, the thing is it's still happening. Mm. I just have food. There's still the stalemate. Yeah. So people are desperate to see results. Yeah. 
So, yes, you can have this kind of responses in an opinion poll. Mm. Let's give ourselves because another three months, up, six months, and yeah, go back and yeah. see what they will say. <clears throat> That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, what you're saying makes a lot of sense because if she showed up, uh, and suddenly she's in parliament, everything's going on fine, and all that, you go back and go and do the polls again, the figures will be different. You know. Well, no, I agree with you. Yeah. I, I agree to that yeah. because, but what I'm saying is, this Currently, is what determines, you yeah. know, how we vote. I mean, emotion. So, it's even the, getting closer, this is how we are going to do stuff mm. with what is happening. You get what so I'm saying? What we are saying is, they should resolve the issue. Yeah. If they don't resolve the issue, pay for, this is pay what they will see. Yeah. If they resolve the issue, <laughs> good for them. If they don't and they play with it, it can only get worse. Yeah. Okay. But at this point, I I don't think. Um, somebody said, oh, if they do by election today, MPP will lose. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> it, it does not work that mm. way. I mean, if there's going to be by election, yeah. you see the whole might of MPP yeah, enter the constituency. Yeah. So, you see, it, it doesn't work the way mm. we just process it. Yeah. So, I am saying, let me, let me conclude, MPP should wake up, push the majority in parliament, to take quick decisions to resolve this. Mm. Whichever way they want to resolve it. Yeah. If they think mm. that Adjua Safo should not come back, they should take a decision. Mm. If they think that they should find other means of getting her to align herself, they should do it quickly. What You can have all the resources, mm. but as for time, you don't, you don't have. have. Okay, thank you. Hmm. Yeah. Well, well said. So um, we're going to take a short break. Don't go anywhere. There's a lot more conversations that are coming up and Samuel Tamesa is still here with us I drinking to you. from his Arsenal mug. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take a short break. <laughs>